tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Hearing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very amazed at you because considering your upbringing and now you have a small business, and I know that when you say you have a small business, it takes a certain level of a strong programming for wealth. And if you didn't pick that up in your childhood, how were you able to uh, grow your small business into from, I'm sure you had to start with yourself and then maybe grow the staff uh, little by little. How were you able to change that uh, programming for you? Well, I, I began my business before I started actually working on um, my wealth consciousness and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and working on financial abundance and my belief system and my false beliefs about um, money and about abundance. Mm -hmm. So I struggled a lot. And it was very challenging. And then, you know, com compounding that with my fi family situation, very stressful. And it didn't need to be that stressful. So mm -hmm. um, I, I have used hypnosis. I have used uh, a practical metaphysics. I have used um, positive affirmations mm -hmm. to work on my money consciousness. And uh, and and it's, it, to be honest, it's it's finally turning around over the past year. Yeah. I have been You're really so focusing in on it, and and it's finally turning around. Um, I, you know, uh, building different streams of income. For instance, you know, yeah. I've, I just started actually building more than one or two streams of income, and you know, people say that you need seven streams of income. Um, mm -hmm. So. Um, talking to people about money, you know, a lot of times I would grew up and, and money was hush hush, like nobody would talk about it. Uh, but in, 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 in other societies or in, or in other, um, um, you know, um, monetary social classes or what have you, like they, they talk about money a bit more. Um, so, yeah. so, so being able to be okay with saying, okay, well, I'm broke, I don't have a lot of money, or you know what, you know, there's this opportunity to make more money, I think we should try it. You know, j just just kind of being a little bit open to it and and accepting mm -hmm. it, accepting mm -hmm. it is important. For instance, if if you are you know getting money out of the ATM, um, be thankful for it, you know, be grateful for it, um, yeah. uh, uh, be appreciative of it. But if you're writing checks and if you're giving money, you know, back to somebody in order to buy something or to pay your bills, also bless it. Also yeah. be thankful for it and be grateful for it. So the the because there's always an in and out exchange of money. So if you if you also express appreciation for uh, the the going out of the money, that it can come back yeah. easier. I was like, okay, we need a house. We need a beautiful house, and I and I wasn't able to do it visually too too well, you know, about four or five years ago. So I just put an image in my head. Like, if you can't really see those movie motion pictures, like some people, just get an image and have it in your head, and close your eyes and visualize that, and 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 put in as many positive uh, uh, emotions into it as you can when you're doing this for five or ten minutes a day. And wow. until you until it becomes something that is is um, is is bothersome to do, then you just leave it because you're done with it, and it's going to happen. Okay, I'm talking about manifestation now because I've I've done a lot of that. Um, a, a, a month later, I've I've got money for a down payment. A month after doing it, doing the exercise, wow. <laughs> a month, a month later, I've got a, I've got a down payment, and we heard about this house that was. Um, on the street that we just loved to live on. We'd rent it on the same street. And all of a sudden this house, you know, comes up and available. We go see it and we're like, oh my gosh, it's huge. It's amazing. We love it. All of a sudden the money kind of you know, falls into our lap. Okay, you know, wow. we're gonna buy it. It's, it's the perfect opportunity. And it wasn't necessarily the house that I had imagined. You know, you, you, you imagine one thing, but you don't necessarily get that exact thing that you're imagining um, for, for mm -hmm. the most part. You get something that's better, that's perfect for your situation, and that makes you even happier than than you know than than you would have been if you got the exact same thing that you were imagining and you were visualizing to manifest. Um, so yeah, I want to manifest uh, the woman of my dreams. So I, I wrote down you know everything that I wanted out of a woman you know on a list. I put it in a drawer somewhere, and I look at it maybe like once a week or something. A month and a half later, I you know I, I come up to Blaine in the city where I live in right now, uh, to a ribbon cutting uh, event of my cousins, and mm -hmm. uh, and and I meet his wife's um, 
little sister who I hadn't seen since 1989 and I forgot she even existed. Uh, but um, <laughs> we hit it off. We hit it off so hard. And, and I looked at that list and, and you know, and, and, and she, she fulfilled every, everything on that list. And, and since then, you know, it's, it's uh, the rest is history. That she's my wife, and, you know, she's the mother of my three children. So, like, so, so manifesting love, you know, of, of attraction and things like that is real, it, you know, and you just have to know how to do it. We were talking about law of attraction, manifesting what you want in life, and how it is possible, and um, and and it's basically connecting with God, and uh, yeah. all that is, because God is within every one of us. So, yeah. so, so le learning, learning how to do that is, is really learning how to pray positively mm -hmm. and, and pray in a different way. Uh, because mm -hmm. a lot of times I, I think we pray in a negative way, um, mm -hmm. uh, and, and attracting possibly negative results that we don't necessarily want to see with, uh, with fearful vibrations, frequencies, which are emotions. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, For sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I, I think you had uh, uh, asked me about how I had um, approached money and, and mm -hmm. attracting it. I, I started to do the same thing as I did, uh, you know, everything that I had tried to manifest before. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, one thing that has been, you, you don't necessarily manifest everything you want or you try to, because I, I have tried to, um, well, I, I, I've tried to manifest uh, uh like cures for my son for autism cure mm -hmm. um and and different treatments and 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 every time i have manifested a different treatment that i had no idea that existed um and that i hadn't read about and i thought every single time i'd already thought i'd already done all the reading you know and and then mm -hmm. um, and nobody had ever told me about these different you know types of treatments and and so um, we, we have tried, you know, many different types of treatments and he has gotten better over the years, but, um, it, it's, it's just, it, if it's not a part of your soul path and if you mm -hmm. try to manifest it, then, it, yes. you know, it may not j just not happen. And it's just like a, a prayer. If you, you know, if you pray for something, uh, especially if you are not necessarily, um, um, praying in the correct way, then, um, you know, it, it won't happen. And even if you are, sometimes it just doesn't happen love uh, we're very family oriented and we like it that we have this devotion to our family even if it's you know pretty stressful at times mm -hmm. especially with what's happening right now so kudos to you and you. at the same time i know that you also have a lot to share about university of metaphysics so we want to invite our viewers to check the website uh, but before that, I want to thank Unity Philippines and Benedictine International School for being one of my sponsors, especially in the beginning when I was starting out with Practical Magic. And the next slide, please. Uh, here's our university. Anthony, I know you have so much to share about your experience. Please go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, the University of Metaphysics, University of Sedona has been great it, it was amazing and and uh, that was something that i manifested in my life um i i you know i, I stumbled upon somebody who was in the university and uh and and uh, she's been um dr sue she's um uh been instrumental in 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 just you know um somebody who i've looked up to and 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 she's in metaphysics and she's in she's also a doctor uh, Dr. Sue, but you know she's a doctor in criminology and she's a lawyer also. Uh, but she's you know getting her master's and her doctorate in metaphysics, and I'm I'm going for the same thing. And and this is exactly what I needed in my life. Uh, uh, I had already been studying it for many years, uh, but um, I it, but actually making it formal and 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 everything that I've learned so far and giving me an opportunity to you know have a master's and a doctorate is uh, is, is fantastic and, and something that I love which is metaphysics and mysticism. <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah. You, should uh, get, no, you should get in, get into the university. <laughs> yeah, and at the same time, I want you to share uh, your experience about the tuition fee is actually a very affordable. I was so surprised by it. Were you surprised by it? <laughs> yeah, very affordable. It's awesome. Yeah, 25 bucks a, a month. Uh, you can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. 
And you know, we've had this online university system prior to what's happening right now. A lot of people are just getting into the online business, but Dr. Masters, the founder of University of Metaphysics, always had this vision in mind. That's why we have graduates in over 120 countries. So we encourage our viewers to visit the website www.universityofmetaphysics.com and at the same time before we end i just want to invite everyone for a prayer of protection so together let's affirm the light of god surrounds us the love of god enfolds us the power of god protects us the presence of god watches over us wherever we are god is and all is well and so it is and thank you so much everyone for tuning in and i trust that you're going to keep uh watching us every week as we learn more about metaphysics and its practical value in our day-to-day -day lives and at the same time remember you are the magic you've been waiting for satnam satnam stay tuned for the next episode only here on v81 radio manila